There was always that debate in my family what type of pizza we should order, a thick style pizza or a thin style pizza. I usually like a thin style pizza, but my brother loves a thin thick style pizza. So I'm going to make a deep style pizza for you, sort of like the Chicago style. Now in a food processor, some flour. I'm using some bread flour for this and we'll add that along with a pinch of salt into the food processor and also some sugar. So a teaspoon of sugar and I'll pop the lid on and just mix that just to combine the dry ingredients. Okay, now in order for this to rise, we need to add some yeast. I'm using some instant dried yeast. I'll add a small amount of lukewarm water. Now, usually you would allow this to sit for about 15 minutes to activate, but for this particular recipe, I'm just popping it straight into the food processor. So just give it a mix. I've got a teaspoon here. Just mix it through with that warm water. Now we'll add that mixture to the bowl along with a few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So drizzle that in. Perfect. And now we'll pop the lid on and I'll slowly add the rest of the lukewarm water. So just on a medium speed and I'll take the stopper out and then we'll add the rest of the water. Now just let that mix until it forms a dough. All right, this dough has come together nicely, so I'll just remove it from the bowl. You can see that's perfectly formed, that dough. Be careful with the blade, so just scrape that down. And I always have some fine semolina on standby. It just makes it so much easier to roll together and knead. Now I'm just gonna knead this just a small amount, just fold it three or four times because the Cuisine Companion has done the job for me. And now we need this to prove. Now it needs to double in size. So I'll place this in a bowl and I like to add a small amount of extra virgin olive oil to the base of it so it doesn't stick. Just with your hands, just rub that all around the sides of the bowl. We'll pop this in and then some glad wrap over the top. Now this is going to sit in a warm spot for about one hour for it to double in size. Okay, this pizza dough has doubled in size. You can see that it's alive now. It's so soft and bubbly. And that's what we're looking for for the next stage. And you need to prove this twice. And this is important so we get a really nice lift and crust on the pizza. So we'll use some more of our fine semolina to put on the bench and then we'll knock back this dough. You can see it just shrinks quite significantly. And then we'll just knead that very quickly, pressing it out, and now we're ready to place this into our pan. Now we need to add some oil to the pan. This is just going to give us a golden finish. And we'll just spread that around, all around the sides too, because we want the pizza dough to go all the way around the rim. I'll also add some of that fine semolina. And then with this dough, we'll just pop that in to our pan. And then, just as if you were working with pastry for a tart, you want to line the dish, pressing in, and just really push it up the sides so we're forming the shape of this pan. Now I'm using this pan because it's got a heavy base bottom, which means that when you cook it in the oven, we're really going to get a nice crispy finish as opposed to a soggy finish. So press that up. Okay, now this needs to prove again for about one hour. So I'll cover it with some cling wrap. And in that time, I'll get my toppings ready. I'm gonna keep it super simple, some pepperoni and lots and lots of mozzarella. Now this has been proving for a further hour and look at it. It's really starting to take shape now. Look at the sides of this pizza, it's really puffy. Now to ensure that we get these sides, just every 10 minutes while it's proving, just use your hands to make that obvious indent so you get that really nice thick crust. So I've got a thick, rich tomato sauce that I'll add first 
And this is not like the classic Italian pizza. I'm not even going to try to compare it. But this is just showing you a different variety, American style pizza, if you like. So I'm just spreading that on the base. So another spoonful on the sides there. And then I'm doing a double layer of cheese. So the mozzarella will just spread that on top of the tomato and then some pepperoni. Now I'm using a hot pepperoni. All right, now some more cheese. And I've preheated my oven. You need your oven to be super hot for this. My oven goes all the way up to 250 degrees, but if you've got a 220 degree oven, that's completely fine too. The last thing I need to do is add some more oil. And I'll just place this around the crust so we get super glossy. Just a small amount of olive oil and brush that over the sides. Now you want to preheat your oven as hot as it can go so we get that great crust and all of that cheese melts at the same time. Now I've got a detachable handle so I'm going to use that to get the pizza into the oven, take it off and it's just going to make life so much easier when I need to take it out of the oven once it's cooked. Oh, look at this pizza. It looks so good. Now just let it cool for a few minutes before you take it out of the pan because it's piping hot. I want you to see how perfect this crust is. So we'll just take it out. See how it comes out so easily because that's non-stick. And then you've got that classic crusty base. It's blistered. I've got to cut into this straight away. Nice sharp knife. Then, oh yes, that is certainly an American style pizza. It's a bit of fun and I think, you know, that combination of pepperoni and the cheese, it changes the pizza style up. You know what, I'm gonna dig in. I want a big chunk of this because I love a cheesy pizza. Look at that, so yummy, so cheesy. <laughs> Delicious. A little messy, but delicious. <laughs>